What's up, YouTube? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, we got the much anticipated Smo Ant Battlestar Squonker Kit. Is it the best dual 18650 Squonker on the market? Make sure you watch the whole video and find out what we think. Look familiar? It does look like a Battlestar up close, right? Let's take it out of the box. Quick tour around it. Real nice and slim for a Squonka. There is the Battlestar RDA. We'll put that on deck for a second. In the packaging, you will receive a Battlestar Squonka Kit user manual, a warranty card, a battery safety card. You'll get a QC certificate, a spare squonking tank with some spare rubber gaskets and stuff you'll get a micro usb cable and you will get a pad of cotton two coils an allen key a blue screwdriver some spare o-rings and a spare deck screw as well so this is an interesting design right you got a stainless steel plate here got a spring-loaded squonking pin right there you have an o-ring right here to keep the juice at bay that's kind of cool i like when they do that and here is your little pumper to squonk with. You push that in and you see the juice come up. See that? Push it in, boom, the juice comes up. All right, kind of neat, kind of cool. Quick tour around the mod. Very, very Battlestar-ish. Looks exactly like a Battlestar. Look how easily you can see the juice level through that squonk tank. I'm not going to call it a squonk bottle because it's really not a bottle because you're not pressing it. It's more like a tank, more like a squonk tank. But they definitely kept that Battlestar look. Here is your fire button, nice and clicky. Plus and minus button, a little on the small side, but they're clicky as well, and they work well. There's your micro USB port right there. Feels great in the hand. Very, very slim for a dual battery squonker. They did a nice job on that. On the bottom, you got some Smoant Battlestar Squonker branding. Access the battery door, you pop it open just like that. The battery indicator markings are there. They're extremely tough to see. There's a plus there and a minus there. Smoant, you guys definitely know better than that. That should have been done in white. Really bad job on that. There's no battery indicator markings down the tube. You have gold-plated button-style contacts over here, and you have spring-loaded gold-plated contacts on the bottom of the tube. Now, here's the interesting thing about this, okay? So... Here's your squonk tank, right? Look at that. Kind of interesting, right? The way they did it. It's hard. You can't push it or press it. It's hard plastic. It does have a 7 ml capacity. There's your tube right there. Your tube feeds right into there. It just pops right in there. So they did a nice job on it. You can see the contours. They made it like ergonomic so it can fit in there and not bulge out. It actually is pretty thin. It's almost hard to believe it holds 7 mLs. The nice thing is when you're filling it, there's no way to squeeze it and make it over squonk, so that's kind of cool. They put this rubber grommet on the bottom right here, and this is how you fill it. You pop that rubber grommet out, and you just fill. Now, sometimes that tube gets in the way, and if you squeeze too hard, the juice is going to shoot out of it. I wish they would have directed that tube into the corner somewhere like along the edge or something because sometimes it does get in the way you just got to be conscious of it when filling so far though it hasn't leaked i haven't had any issues with anything they do give you a spare so that's kind of cool um i think they did a bang up job with this my one complaint about this is that you have to open the battery door in order to fill your squonk tank up i wish they would have made it so that I could just, you know, get a fingernail in there and pop it out from there. I don't know why they had to attach it to this part of the battery door. I just wish there was a way to just pull it out. Maybe they could have put a cut out here where I could have pulled it out. Something. But having to open the battery door every time I want to fill the squonk bottle is definitely a con. You know, the other thing they could have done is they could have put some type of valve here, right, where I could just push it, kind of like they did on the Revenant Delta. That wouldn't have been bad on this system. Anything is better than having to open the battery tour every time I want to fill my squonk bottle up. So that's a bit of a con to me. I wish they would have thought that out a little better. 
Let's put some batteries in it. Batteries we're going to be using today are Galici S30 Pro Series. Positive side faces the battery door here. Negative side faces the battery door here. Pop them in, lock it down, and push. And it's solid, man. It doesn't move. It doesn't pop open. They did a good job on the battery door. Let's go over the screen. You can see we're in variable wattage mode. There's your battery meter. There's your wattage, your voltage, your resistance, your puff counter in total, and puff counter in seconds. Nice bright screen, very well laid out, no garbage on it, no gears, no lines, no nothing like that. Good job on that, Smoant. In order to access your menu system, three clicks, see variable wattage blinking. Now you can scroll between variable voltage, that's your curve mode, NITC, TITC, and stainless steel TC. Let's put it in stainless steel TC. So now you can see there's my wattage there below the temperature, right? If I want to change my wattage, I hit the plus and fire button together. And now you can see my wattage and temperature have changed places and I can adjust my wattage in TC mode. Once I find the correct wattage, I hit the fire button and it's back to 44 watts right over there. If I want to go back to power mode or see what else is on the menu, Three clicks, stainless steel is blinking, there's my TCR mode, there's my variable wattage mode, hit the fire button again, and I'm in variable wattage mode. Hit the plus and minus button together, and you can see it's power locked, which means I cannot adjust the wattage up or down, but I can still fire the mod. In order to unlock it, plus and minus button together, and it's unlocked. And that's it, guys. That's the whole menu system. Let's move on to the RDA. Check it out. Got a goon-style drip tip on top here. It's comfortable. It's nice. I've been enjoying it. I've put other goons in here. They fit just fine. All right. See right there? One-piece barrel section. Nice conical design inside. There's your airflow slots right there. You'll notice your airflow slots line up with this little cutout here that kind of ramps the airflow right into your coil, smacks it right into your coil. Easy deck to build on, super easy. We're not going to throw a build in it. Um, easy to get to your leads, easy to clip them. You got some flathead screws on top. I would have preferred hex keys. Nice deep juice well, not bad. Here's your, here's your squonking button right here. And just let me show you something while we got the RDA. See that? That's your squonking action. Look at that. Every time you push it, it pumps it up and fills that juice well up. Kind of neat, right? If you hold it, it don't do much. It's not, you just gotta, it, it goes by one squonk, by one pump, like that. See that juice filling up that juice well? Kind of cool, right? I like that. I dig it. We're gonna wick it up right now, and then we're gonna take a look at the rest of the kit. Wicking material we're gonna be using today Cotton Bacon Prime. I love using the Prime when it comes to wicking a dual coil atomizer because the strips are cut perfectly in order for you to get at least two wicks out of a length. So that's kind of neat. Roll it between your fingers, get it nice and tight, and send it right through just like that. See how nice and tight that wick is? That's how you want it. Now when you cut your wicks on this one, you just want to cut them right down by the O-ring. You don't want to go crazy. It's not a super deep juice well. You don't need a lot of wicking material on this one. Do the same thing on the other side. Twist it up. Send it right through. And pull it through. See that nice tension? That's what you want. Now you can use the other one as a guide. Right there. Same thing on the other side. Cut it right at towards the bottom. Right there. Shout out to the Vape Shears. Best scissors in vaping. Now in order to... Wick this thing, you just take your vape shears and just tuck them in nice and gently. Just like that. Don't disturb that wicking material. Same thing over here. Stuff them in. Nice and gently. Make sure they're hitting the bottom of that well. Same thing on this side. Same thing on this side. You can see that juice is already starting to Get into that cotton that I put in the juice well when there were no coils in there. Just get them in there nice and easy, just like that. And there you go. Let's take this RDA off so I can show you the bottom. The one thing I don't like about this RDA is it does not have a locking barrel system. 
that's going to be a con. On the bottom of the RDA, you can see we got Battlestar RDA, Smoant, gold-plated swanking pin, insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. There is your Phillips head negative post screw. Okay, check it out all put together as a kit. Definitely digging the way they match the gold with the Ultum and the gold on the bottom here. The one thing that kind of bothers me is this right here, this pump thing. I'm not sure how that's going to hold up. I, I don't trust it. I don't know if that's going to hold up over time from continuously pressing it. I guess only time will tell. It does feel solid, but I'm not too sure about it. You know, it kind of bothers me, but we'll see what happens over time. Let's cut right into the cons and the pros. The first con is going to be you got to open the battery door in order to fill the squonk bottle. I don't like that. I think they should have thought that through a little better. I got to give them a con for that. The next con is I'm not so sure how that pump thing is going to hold up over time. It kind of worries me a little bit. I wish it was a little bit more solid. I got to give them a con for that. Even though we don't know, only time will tell. It just bothers me that it's a little bit wobbly and a little bit loose. I would have liked to have seen a more solid pumping type of action or button on that all right so i got to give them a con on that even though only time will tell the next con is the proprietary squonk tank i would have rather have seen a bottle but you know what i understand it and i don't mind it that much since they did give you a spare one con i noticed while using this is sometimes that extra long uh squonk tube that's inside the tank itself. Sometimes it can get in the way while you're filling, and if you're not careful, it'll shoot juice out of the out of the spout, you know, that you're filling in. So just make sure that the nozzle of your juice bottle is nowhere near that squonk tube. But that's definitely going to be a con because you got to pay attention to it. They should have tucked it off in the corner somewhere. And the last con I got for this kit is going to be on the RDA. There's no locking barrel system. I think it could have used some type of locking barrel system. Would have absolutely made the experience better. So I'm going to give them a con on that. Let's move on to the pros because there's a ton of them. First pro is going to be one of the slimmest dual battery squonkers i've ever owned it's just slim it's skinny they did a great job with that i like the squonk tank that they used i don't have to hold it up to the light i can see my juice level no problem that's a big pro i'm digging the pump action man it's a true one-handed squonker right i can fire with my thumb and then i can squonk with my finger awesome job on that we're giving them a pro for that Another pro I'm going to give them is I like that O-ring that they put on the 510 plate. Keeps all the juice where it should be. That's a pro. This one is to be expected from a Battlestar board, a Smoant board. The TC on this is actually really good, so they're getting a pro for that. Simple menu system, that's a pro. Not only is the menu system simple, but it's got all the bells and whistles. It's got all the TCs, the TCR, all that jazz. You're going to love it. We're going to give them a pro for that. I'm also going to give them a pro on the battery life. I've been getting great battery life off of this mod. That's a big pro, Smoant, and it looks like you corrected one of the biggest cons of the original Battlestar. Two amp charging for when you're in a pinch. We don't recommend it, but we like to see it on mods. That's a pro. They did a bang up job on the battery door. It's real solid. We're going to give them a pro on that as well. I'm giving them a pro on the form factor. This thing just feels great in the hand. I got to give them a pro on the screen. It's nice and big, and they laid it out well. 7 ml capacity in that swank tank. I like that. We'll give them a pro for that. The chipset on this, it's that Smoant chipset. It's awesome. Smoant's made a great name for themselves with their chipsets. I'm giving them a pro on that as well. Probably one of the better chipsets that's not a DNA or Yeehee board. I know a lot of people aren't going to like the RDA because it's super simple, but that's probably part of the beauty of it. It's real simple, it's got good flavor, and it's easy to build and wick, so that's a pro as well. And the last pro is, in the contents of the box, you get plenty of extras. Smoant did a bang-up job on that. Big pro, baby. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Smoant Battlestar Squonka. I got to tell you something, man. I've been enjoying this Squonka. It's got a great form factor. It's got an awesome board, nice capacity. What's not to like on this thing? My final thoughts on this one, 
it's really not the best dual 18650 squonker on the market. I would have to say that honor goes to the Pulse Dual and the Desire Designs Rage right now. I don't have any others that can really compete with that, but I will say this. The Smoant Battlestar Squonker is a really close third place. This one is definitely Deuces Jack approved. So hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. What's your favorite dual battery squonker? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments. Let's talk about it a little bit. We'll have a link down below where you can get the Smoant Battlestar squonker. Make sure you click on the thumbnails on the screen. Check out some of our other great videos. And that's it, folks. That's all we got today. We're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.